Youth runner here with Pine Creek standout, uh, Gable Ryle, uh, sub-1540 is your Division One winner. Here at the Liberty Bell Invitational at uh, Heritage High School in Littleton, Colorado. Uh, Gable, obviously, uh, just you, uh, you showed so much patience, so much kind of composure early on, and then it was, you know, really rewarded, on, you know, especially by the time, you know, you got to about a you know, K left, maybe a little less, and then especially on that, uh, on that last descent. How, how would, you know, that's just my eyes. Yeah. How would you assess how you kind of, you know, managed each segment of the race? I mean, I definitely wanted to get out really quick because I, I was trying to go for a big PR. So went out quick and then got to the second mile and kind of went off slower, but I knew I had a good lead on everyone. So pretty good on the mile, second mile, and then third mile. The guy started catching me, and I was like, okay, I gotta start pushing it. So that last uh, bit of the uphill, I kicked it in and definitely got 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 a good good run. No, so. most definitely, uh, yeah. and a lot of, uh, a lot of conviction, a lot of purpose. Yeah. Uh, in that in that in that sprint at the end. I mean, obviously, it's only September 14th. I know, yeah. obviously, most of the the base has been strength. Uh, yeah. But was that reassuring that like when you had somebody there, like that you know that you were able to respond by the way you did and kind of you know find whatever gear you had left to be able to hold him off? Yeah, that helped out a lot. Yeah, so I, I heard him on like three mile and I saw my watch. I was like, all right, I got to start going and I kicked it in. Yeah, it, it was it was crazy. How uh, how would you assess just, you know, the, the overall kind of optimism and, and encouragement, belief, you know, and in, in what the training has looked like? you know, in, uh, in, in August and early September of this year in comparison to last year, because obviously, you know, not just having the aspirations and the ambitions to come run a PR, but knowing that you're at that level of fitness, knowing you're in that kind of shape. So how would you kind of, you know, kind, you know, kind of summarize you know, just how good you felt about the summer and, yeah. and so far this year? Yeah, so over the summer, I kept my miles up. I usually did 50 miles every week, so kept that distance up. And then... Uh, Soon as August came, I started. I went to my because I did club over yep. the summer, so I that that definitely helped out. And I had a couple good guys that I ran with and pushed me, so that helped out a lot. And then my training's just gone up since last year. Like I, I was probably doing 20 miles every week, and now and then I went to 50, and it helped out a lot. Fantastic. So, yeah. Obviously, this a uh, huge confidence bo uh, boost for you. Yeah. Uh, you were forever a Liberty Bell champion, which is obviously something you know every elite athlete in Colorado uh, wants to claim. I don't yeah. care if it's sweepstakes, Division One, two, three. You're forever a champion here. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, you're, you're only as good as your next workout, right? So yeah. I mean, obviously, what do you feel like you, you you kind of affirmed about yourself today, or validated about yourself today that you know that you know that there's still a lot of opportunities for you to build between now and November second when you get to Norris Penrose. Yeah, I, I definitely gonna keep the mileage up and keep everything going so I can I'm gonna go to Arizona so get a good time there and then go to North Penrose and hopefully place really well in the state. Is, is it a blessing that you not only have the opportunity to run against such elite guys you know at elevation up here but then obviously you know the, you know, the coaches and all the families you know want to invest in you you know being able to race in Arizona and coming down closer to sea level yeah. you know so it's like hey I want to be able to you know, match up and see what all those, you know, what all those people in Arizona or California, you know, what, uh, what they're doing as well. Because obviously, you know, and especially, you know, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, like you want to see what they're doing. Yeah. Because that's the name of the game when we get to Southwest, right? So yeah. how much of a, of a blessing is it? How grateful are you that you have the opportunity to race at sea level? Uh, it's a great opportunity because I definitely think I can probably PR big there. So this race just showed me that I could probably get to that point and probably PR there. Awesome, man. PR. Stay healthy. Keep up the good work. Keep up the, uh, the mileage. Uh, certainly not the same Gable Ryle that we saw last year. Nope. I hear today at Liberty Bell Invitational. Again, yeah. sub-1540, uh, your winner of the Division I uh, Boys Varsity Race. Congrats. Thank you.